Now installing the HRM sensor requires that each of the three needles are placed in the correct orientation. The downstream probe, or the top probe, is slightly longer than the second probe, which is the heater, the red needle. The bottom probe, or the upstream probe, is the third needle, and it is the shortest of the three. The needles are named and color-coded and adjusted in length to ease installation and also to provide a neat, tidy, finished installed sensor. Start with the top probe or the downstream probe first and push it into the stem, into the hole that's just been drilled. The installation should be smooth and easy, requiring very little pressure. Push all three probes into the same depth and you'll know that's correct by having a flush base to all three needles. Now you can clearly see the benefit of having slightly different length cables on each of the three needles as you have a neat gentle curve of the cables back down into the interface. Now the installation is almost complete but you must first attach the interface to the stem to prevent a strain relief so that the weight of the interface, although it's very light, doesn't create a strain on the needles. So we lift it up, create a small bend in the cable and use in this case some trellis wire, plastic coated trellising wire and pass the wire through the holes, the mounting holes on the interface and tie it off firmly to the stem. There are a second set of mounting holes on the bottom of the interface that can also be used if it's deemed necessary.